Hello Aquarius and welcome to my channel Cancer Moon Oracles. My name is Rosa and I am coming in with your weekly love read where in this reading specifically we are going to take a look at your person's current feelings towards you. We will clarify all of the cards. Do keep in mind Aquarius this is a general reading so if it does resonate with you at this time please hit that like button to let me know. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. Um, this reading can be good for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus Aquarian placements and to the cross watchers checking in on an Aquarius in your life, you can take the messages as your own, okay? Otherwise, a personal booking is where it's at and all the details on how to work with me and connect with me in, uh, in the show more section just below this video. It's really cold here today. I know it looks really sunny outside and it's beautiful outside, but it's really cold inside and I do apologize if I sniffle in the reading, in the video. Um, yeah, it's just, I can't help it. Sorry, guys. I think it's just the cold air. It just makes my nose run. <clears throat> Again, apologies in advance. I don't mean to be disrespectful or rude or, or annoying. Okay, so a couple of more shuffles and we will take a look at this person's current feelings. So spirit, angels and guides. Please show us the current feelings of the person that Aquarius is connecting to and dealing with in love for the upcoming days and week. Please show us the current feelings of the person that Aquarius is connecting to and dealing with in love for the upcoming days and week. We have the King of Pentacles. This is Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I really like that. Okay, please show us the current feelings. We have the Six of Cups. Sorry, it was in the reverse. I accidentally, um, I forgot to tell you in the disclaimer of the opening of the reading, um, I split the deck in half earlier this morning and I accidentally flipped one side of the deck around. I never, ever do that. And I don't read the Lights Here's Tarot in reverse. So apologies, guys. So if they do come out in the reverse, I will flip them in the upright. So we've got the Six of Cups here. Nice. Like that. Okay, current feelings towards Aquarius. We have the Five of Wands. Hmm. Okay, current feelings towards Ta uh, Taurus. Aquarius could be dealing with an Aquarius. We've got the King of Cups. Oh, I see. I was like, when I saw the Five of Wands, I was like, hmm, that's interesting to get that card. Uh, but I see it now because the King of Cups is here. <laughs> um, <laughs> if you're someone Aquarius that um, attracts easily the attention of other people, uh, I do have to say here that this person does feel jealous. Okay, there, there is a jealous side to this person. And I feel like it's because with the King of Cups here, this person has very strong feelings for you, Aquarius. Make no mistake, uh, this person has a lot of love for you. Whether they have told you this or not, they feel very strongly here for you. Okay, um, I feel like at times this person, they try to hide those feelings. Um but deep down inside, this person is very sensitive. Uh, they're, they're a big softy. They're very, very sensitive. Uh, there's a strong loyalty coming in with this person. Yeah, and they just can't help it. I think they really care about you. And, you know, along with that, there's a jealous side because they see that you're very attractive here. And they wouldn't want to lose you to somebody else. That's what it feels like to me. There's a jealous side, you know. They get jealous if other people are talking to you. Um, I don't feel... This is not someone... I mean, it, it could create a problem. We, we'll, we will look at the clarifiers. I mean, it could stir up. Uh, some conflict within the relationship um, it could become a problem because the five of wands is here and it, it is a card of conflict it's a card of maybe going head to head uh, 
Yeah, so we're not going to ignore the fact that the jealous side of this person could become a problem because the five of wands is here. Absolutely, it could it could become a problem. Um, we just we have to acknowledge that it could become a problem, or maybe it is a problem at this time. <clears throat> but I get with the King of Cups a very cool, calm, collected, and composed kind of individual. So I don't. I don't know if they would let that get out of hand. I don't I, I, I see them feeling jealous, but I don't see them letting that jealousy overtake them. Do you know what I mean? Because I'm I'm not really seeing an unhealthy aspect to this person. I don't I don't see the devil here. Um so I do feel with the King of Cups, this is after all someone who can keep a, a emotionally composed. You know, they, they are can, they are in control of their emotions. They don't let their emotions control them. It's the other way around. Wow, that's a lot, isn't it? Mm. I like the Six of Cups here because the Six of Cups tells me that this is someone who can see themselves growing old with you. We've got a little boy with his dog and then he sees himself here uh, old man, old dog, right? <laughs> so I am getting that this person can see themselves growing old with you. But more importantly, this person's higher self is telling me that you are an important person to them. You hold a very special dear um, place in their heart, okay? You're very dear to them. You hold a very special place in their heart. You are very important to them. They feel that you are their best friend. They want to be your best friend. And there's a strong loyalty coming in with this person, person, especially with the King of Pentacles, okay? He's very loyal. King of Cups, King of Pentacles, I like that in their feelings for you because these are two very compatible energies with each other. Very loyal, very committed, very devoted, very caring, very protective. Um, very loving and very affectionate. Okay, I get a, a very affectionate person here. <clears throat> very private also. This King of Pentacles is someone who um, is interested in something serious. Okay, this is someone who is interested in something serious. This person feels like they want to commit or they want to get serious here with you. Um, they're looking for something long term. Okay, this is someone who is looking to the connection, um, really seeing themselves spending the rest of their life with you here. Isn't that beautiful? What else am I getting? Okay, let's let's dive deeper. Let's let's clarify these cards. Why is the King of Pentacles here in this person's feelings towards Aquarius spirit? Why is the King of Pentacles here with regards to how they they feel towards Aquarius? We've got the Five of Pentacles. That's interesting. The Five of Pentacles. Tell me more. Tell me more. Two of Pentacles. Lots of earth energy here. Five, six, seven. So five plus two makes seven. Seven of Pentacles. Um, <clears throat> I do want to say with the add up of these cards, it, it comes to seven of pentacles and seven of pentacles tells me that this person is willing to invest in, in, in your connection. Okay. Um, yeah. 
yeah, this is someone who definitely sees the value of investing in your connection. Yeah. And even with the two of pentacles, this person may have a lot going on in their life right now. Okay, they may be like, even with the five of pentacles, it would tell me that maybe it's a time thing. Maybe they don't have a lot of time. Maybe with the king of pentacles, uh, they are a very successful businessman. They don't really have a lot of time on their hands or spare time on their hands. Um, but the two of pentacles would tell me that even though they might not have a lot of time for a relationship, they will find the time. Okay, they, they will find that time because they want to prioritize you. And the two of pentacles means that this person will shift things around, move, you know, uh, things around in their calendar. They will reschedule and, and uh, make space in their calendar to prioritize you. Yes, they don't have a lot of time or spare time or free time, but they're saying to me, I'm going to make time because Aquarius is my priority and they, they really want to invest in this relationship. And, and, and investing into the relationship means they're going to have to find the time. And the King of Pentacles is telling me I'm committed to find the time. Because I'm committed to my Aquarius. All right. Okay. All right. They're telling it like it is. Why, why is the Six of Cups here in this person's feelings towards Aquarius? Why, why is the Six of Cups here? We've got the Ace of Swords in reverse. Okay. Why else? The judgment card. Give me a moment as I tune into these cards, Aquarius. I feel like this person, they, they see you as an important person. Um, I don't feel like they've told you that though with the Ace of Swords in reverse. Okay, it tells me that this person really hasn't opened up about how they feel with regards to you. They haven't told you this. They may show you with their actions, but they haven't communicated it or they haven't expressed it. Now, the good thing with the Judgment card is, is they will express it. They will get it off their chest because there's an angel here and the angel is is blowing the trumpet. The trumpet, this is good news. This is uh, something big, big news. This is an announcement. I feel like this person will announce to you. They will express to you. They will communicate to you how you make them feel uh, or how, how it is that they feel towards you, Okay. All right, tell us more about the Five of Wands. Why is the Five of Wands here? Why is the Five of Wands here in this person's feelings? The Hanged Man in reverse. Okay. And the Four of Pentacles. <laughs> this person wants to claim you as, <laughs> as theirs. Okay. They're not going to, this is not someone who's going to sit back and watch you get snatched up or, or sniveled up, swiveled up by somebody else, okay? Um, this person isn't letting you go. I feel like this person is very possessive 
and now it's telling me yes they are very possessive they are very protective and they are very jealous by nature so there we, <laughs> there we go uh it is confirmed mm. the hanged man is in reverse which tells me that they're not going to sit back and and let someone else snatch you back. There's this person isn't sitting idle. Okay, they are taking action at this time, and I feel the action that they are taking with the five of wands is to win you. Okay, um, the five of wands, it's a card of competition. So they want to be the, the last man standing. Because I feel with the four of pentacles, they want to claim you as theirs. Okay. Hmm. And that's why, like, I'm feeling here, uh, now that they've got you, they don't want to lose you or they don't want to let you go. And um, especially if there's people that are, if you're attracting the attention of other people, uh, it, is, it is triggering that jealousy side of this person. And it's because they care very much for you. And now that they've got you, they're feeling very protective. They're feeling very territorial. Tell me more about the King of Cups. Why is the King of Cups here? There's six of uh, pentacles in reverse. That's interesting. Six of pentacles in reverse. All right, tell us more. The Death card in reverse. Major Arcana for Scorpio. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. Give me a moment. The death card in reverse. What are these cards trying to tell me? Hang on, hang on a second, Aquarius. Sometimes um, it's I'm a little bit slow been a big day I just get that this person is starting to get they're, they're, they're a big softy this king of Pent this king of cups is a big softy okay they're a big softy and um, what do I mean by that? Because the Six of Pentacles is in reverse. So the Six of Pentacles, it's, it's, this is equal give and take. This is, you know, loving each other the same, especially when it's in the upright. We, we love each other the same. We invest into the relationship equally. But I feel like that this person, because the scales are unbalanced, I feel like this person, I feel confident to say that this person loves you more than you love them at this stage. Okay. Or uh, the depth of their emotions is, stronger mm. Mm, isn't that interesting that's an interesting message let me know if that resonates yeah let me know if that resonates but it feels like Their feelings for you are more. 
Maybe you can feel uh, like this person is very smothering at times. Okay, they're, they're so protective and they're so in love with you that it can come across as maybe overprotective or very smothering. The death card is here. This does represent Scorpio. So I do feel like uh, the, the, their feelings are very intense. They can be very intense at times to the point where it can cause conflict in your connection. Um, yeah, th there's just a depth of emotion that just can be maybe so overwhelming or intense at times. And it's like you're not as intense, Aquarius, as they are. That's what I'm feeling here. And I feel with the death card in reverse, it's not something that they can change. They can't change uh, that depth or that intensity to their nature or to their character. They can't change that. But I can see it can be a little overwhelming here. Mm. But look, overall, this is someone who... Um, cares very much for you, Aquarius. They see you as a very important person in their eyes. I feel like with the judgment card, uh, this person will be announcing uh, how they feel towards you very, very soon. If not, it's already happened. And uh, that's all I have for you today, Aquarius. Let me know in the comment section below if this resonated. And until next time, take care.